NASA released audio of what allegedly a black hole sounds like. It's synthesized audio from NASA, but hey, you know, it's kind of what you'd think a black hole would sound like. Next week, we're going to figure out if NASA still has the right stuff. Their Artemis spaceflight program to put humans on the moon in 2025 all centers around a test launch next week. It's their only chance to catch Elon Musk's SpaceX. SpaceX is creating a Starship rocket unlike anything made before, also planning human spaceflight missions to Moon and the Mars within the decade. This could be NASA's last chance to stay at the forefront of space technology and win the race back to the Moon. Joining us now, former NASA astronaut Colonel Terry Vertz. Uh, sometimes in order to figure out where you're going, you have to figure out how we got here. How did we get to the fact that in 1969, we put men on the moon, and now we're having to test rockets to see if it's possible we could do it again in 2025? Yeah, it kind of blows your mind. Um, this program, Artemis, was actually born in 2005. It was called Constellation at the time. And the rocket was called Ares 5. It was a follow on to the space shuttle after the Columbia accident. President Bush came up with the Constellation program. So it's been kind of in development. Uh, NASA will say 2011. That's when the Ares 5 name turned into SLS, the very exciting <laughs> acronym SLS. Uh, but it's yeah, really been a lot of years. I get all that, but I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how NASA, that put men on the moon in 1969 with less computing power than my Apple Watch, uh, is now. Tens of billions behind uh, over budget, uh, behind schedule by more than a decade, as you point out. Where, where, did, where did this go and what do they have to fix in order to, to get back the mantle? Well, I think there's something about the government um, procurement process. You know, the Air Force has problems, the Navy has problems with fighter jets and submarines. Uh, and a lot of times the goal of the government is just to keep itself employed and keep bodies you know at, at this at the different sites whereas companies have to get their equipment built and operational or they go out of business and so there's definitely a different incentive yeah. level with the private sector than there is with the government yeah fair fair enough nasa commercial crew program contractors boeing 4.3 billion dollars to your point spacex only 2.5 billion u.s funding of nasa though 25.4 billion dollars in 2023 uh, if they can't get this done uh, is it time to maybe say that NASA shouldn't be in this business when private industry seems to be doing it so much cheaper? Well, a lot of those billions of dollars, um, they just don't all go to NASA employee salaries. They, a lot of that money does go to SpaceX and Boeing and other commercial companies like Blue Origin, Relativity, and so on. So I think the government works best when there's a, a public-private partnership where you can use the best of American innovation in our in our companies. But there's some programs, you know, like uh, sending the James Webb Space Telescope that there's just not a big commercial market for deep space infrared space telescopes. So some things the government has to do. Uh, but, you know, rocket launches is is all there's a big commercial market for that. So that's something yeah, no, we it, need to it's, use it's the a, best of. It's a great point. But as somebody who was in in the NASA culture for so long, I, I'm still getting back to this idea that what 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 happened in the 70s and 80s that we lost this spark in the, in this race was it simply we beat the soviets and then we kind of didn't know what to do so everybody got lazy and now we see the chinese uh, at it and have decided okay we better better hook hook it up here in, in fairness a part of it was budget at the peak of apollo it was 4% of the federal budget and now it's about a third of a percent you know it's oh. less than half of a percent so that has something to do with it. I think part of it has, has been the vision has been to just stay in Earth orbit. We haven't really, we had a vision to go to the moon in 2005 under Constellation and that got changed in 09. And so uh, part of our problem is <laughs> the next president usually hates the last president and they like to undo <laughs> what the last guy did. Um, and it's not, it, at the end of the day, it's not about the rocket science, it's about the political science. Uh, that That's a good place to good place to leave it. As you point out, the rocket scientists, uh, Still, still have it. Uh, it's good to see you, sir. Thank you. Thanks for having me on, Ho ho Hopefully we'll talk when people are heading to the moon. It'll be fun. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's uh, do it. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.